Hi everyone. Good afternoon. Today we are going to discuss about class C chopper and in how many quadrants it is going to offer. Let's try to have an overall view. We are going to have the quadrant operation in two quadrants. Class C chopper operates in two quadrants. Or uh, this is also called two quadrant operation. So what are those two countries? Quadrant C. Is, uh, so here I am taking the current as plus I naught. Here the current is uh, minus I naught. Here the voltage is V naught. Here the voltage is minus V naught. So this is nothing but it operates in first quadrant as well as it operates in second quadrant. Actually in first quadrant class A chopper is used to operate in second quadrant class B chopper is used to operate in A quadrant I mean first quadrant and as well as second quadrant we need to use a class C chopper. So in order to have the operation in this uh, two quadrants we need to design the circuit as shown below. So therefore class C chopper operates in two quadrant operation or it executes how many quadrants of operation is a two quadrant operation. Okay. So now coming to the circuit diagram. So here we are going to have a voltage source connected to an transistor. So this is nothing but a base and where you have the arrow mark is nothing but the base is nothing but the arrow mark is emitter and collector okay so this is how a transistor generally it will be having so this is connected to one more transistor like this with base and here it is connected to a diode okay so a diode and here is also is connected to one more diode and labeling of this diode I am giving as D1 and labeling of this diode I am giving as D2 and labeling of this transistor I am giving as T1 and labeling of this transistor I am giving as a T2. So this is the voltage I am going to apply to the network and from here I am going to have an inductor I am going to have a resistor and after this resistor I am going to have a back cable this is nothing but the components of an DC motor so this is nothing but inductance of the motor resistance offered by the motor and this is the back cable generated in the motor now coming to the first operation how it operates in two quadrants first one is uh, here T1 D2 is on I mean you can see here this block T1 D2 is on condition when this is on you can see this current flow you have an voltage source and T1 is on okay and this T1 will try to flow across the inductor it flows across the here and T1 D2 is on okay so it flows like this and once again it goes it closes the path okay so it closes the path through back cable okay so here T1 is only on okay so this also is on but it is loop just understand only T1 is only on and now T1 is on it flows like this and comes across the inductor and comes close the path so this is the closed path established whenever the current is flowing here I am going to get the inductor charge the polarities of positive and negative and the inductor is charged so across this the output voltage is measured across the back EMF which is nothing but V0 so if we apply the you can see here the current is going like this you can say the current is in positive direction so when you apply the KVL the leaving terminal is minus I naught into XL I am writing here the leaving terminal is minus V naught is equal to 0 okay so in this case we are going to get I naught is positive as well as the V naught is positive okay so both are in the case of here both are operating in positive direction so here we have V naught and I naught both are positive V naught I naught both are positive automatically we are going to have in first quadrant okay. 
so therefore our inductor operates in first quadrant so this is the quadrant our inductor is operated okay so now the inductor is in the case of here in the case here the inductor is charged now now the same inductor will write i mean t1 is on so now i am going to perform t1 is off what will happen so already the inductor is charged with this terminal and this t1 is off so now what will happen is uh, the inductor is there and resistance is there and back emf is there same as it is and now it will try to flow across this diode D. okay so now already i told the polarities of the inductor is positive negative here here it will be reversed this is positive and this is negative and now the current is flowing in this direction and output is available across here okay so in this case if you apply the kvl this is nothing but plus i naught into xl minus v naught so v naught is equal to i naught xl you can say here current is flowing like this and voltage is also same you can say that i naught and v naught both are positive and i naught v naught are positive you can say that once again this operating in first quadrant so this is how it operates in first quadrant that's why i told t1 is on and next one d2 is on okay so this is about uh, the first quadrant of operation okay so now we need to operate our chopper in which quadrant second second quadrant okay so when you are operating in second quadrant the formula is very simple we require minus i naught as well as v naught how it operates let's try to check so till now so we are having this circuit now let's try to copy this circuit for more clarity and i will show you here how it operates in the next two quadrants so now t2 is only on okay so here the third mode of operation which is nothing but t2 is only on so this t2 is only on then how the supply flows okay. so here you can see here whenever t2 is on uh, the meaning here is so already we have the already we have the inductor we have the resistor and we have the back em this back em if is nothing but a part of a motor but this is of a lesser magnitude so now back em is acting like a source and you can see here original current direction of uh, like this i am considering as i not now this is going in opposite direction that's why i'm writing it as a minus i not but inductor charges with the polarities of uh, positive and negative and it flows across uh, t2 and it forms an closed path so the current flows in this direction and you are going to have minus i not and here you are going to have positive and negative and this is nothing but back in is nothing but uh, v not so here when you apply the kvl leaving terminal is uh, plus v not and here the leaving terminal is minus uh, you are going to have minus of minus of i not into xl is equal to 0 so minus into minus becomes plus therefore i not v not is equal to i not into xl when you move this to this quadrant uh, so here i mean we want uh, negative current so i'm keeping negative current as this the current is negative and voltage is positive automatically you can see here our this operates in which quadrant so here minus i naught and v naught therefore i can successfully i can say that this is operating in first quadrant this will operate in second quadrant so that's how it is operating in second quadrant minus i naught and v naught so it operates in second quadrant next one here the inductor is charged the same inductor will try to discharge now so as the inductors try to discharge so the purpose of the inductor is we want to maintain constant current throughout the circuit okay so now inductor is charged with this polarity now the polarity gets charged and this is how the polarity gets charged. and already i told inductor do not allow sudden change in current i mean it makes the current to flow in the same direction that's what the importance of the inductor so now inductor when it's performing that action it will try to change its terminal and it will try to now up to here it we have been reached it is already discharging now so this is uh, the inductor is charged 
and now inductor is discharged in this case and how it reaches and this you can see the path it can flow like this so it flows across b1 and comes to the source and it's like this and what is the magnitude of current in this direction is same so the in order to maintain the same current the inductor has changed its polarity and we are trying to maintain the continuity of the current so here you are going to have plus or minus b not the same operation you are going to have when you apply the kvl here this is also plus b not and here you are going to get plus i not into xl so v not is equal to so this is nothing but minus into this is nothing but you are going to get the same operation so here also you are going to get this is going to operate in minus when it comes to this side this is nothing but it operates in minus v not i not and v not so therefore successfully i can say that our class c chopper operates in the first quadrant in this uh, fixed sequence of plus i not v not next one minus i not and v not so you can see here in these uh, two quadrants class c chopper will try to operate so this is the importance of a uh, class c chopper how it operates in two, two, two quadrant mode of operation so hope you are able to understand so hope thank you for watching if you feel the content is useful please like our channel and share with your friends and if you have any doubts let me know in comment section and kindly subscribe to the channel which will help you to understand more about electric vehicle so thank you for your help and support for, for supporting this so yours obediently wrong